So this video may be the first of many, but like, I, I don't know if I should make this a full series or not. Like, like this girl's just like really fluid. She's honestly done so many artworks. Like she's done uh, ponies, humans, furry, Pokemon, and <sighs> Twitter. So I actually made a tweet a while ago where I drew a bunch of characters in like in the same style as different artists and surprisingly it got a lot more attention than I expected it to. Like for a second I thought I was gonna get framed for like tracing art or something. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like doing it again, but at the same time I felt like, hmm, heaps of other people like this these people's art. So I figured to myself, why not make a tutorial on how to draw like these people? So the first person that came to my mind was Kitty Rosie. So a uh, little bit about her. So she's an animal lover, the macaroon princess. Everyone should know that already. She lives in the world of cookie cats. That's a great way of saying uh, oh, she was born nearly at Christmas. Basically, everyone thinks of her as like the floofiest artist ever. Also, if you've seen this speed art video of her drawing, you'll know that she uses a pencil. Then I can assume that she uploads her drawing to her paint tool side and traces over that. Let's do this. So you'll need somewhat of a like drawing kit because we're gonna be drawing on pen and paper. And you'll need a like decent size sketch pad. I mean, come on, it looks big enough, right? No. And of course, a pencil and eraser in case we make mistakes because everyone makes mistakes. Well, I guess let's plonk this bad boy because I've wasted so much battery on this camera already. Perfect. All right, time to get a clean page. Oh, that's not a clean page. Nope. There we go. Clean. Clean. All right, now that everything's set up, I, who should I draw actually? Connor didn't prepare anything. Okay, hold on. Let's see, who haven't I drawn yet? It's gonna be hard to find because I've pretty much drawn everyone. Uh, I haven't drawn this guy. Uh, let's draw Dutchy. Now yeah, I just gotta find a ref of him. Finally, that's who we're gonna be drawing. Yeah. So now we know who to draw, let's basically start. So before I start, I kind of want to talk about the kind of shapes that Kitty Rosie uses. So first up we have these things here, it's kind of like a little semicircle with a line through it. The other one she uses are leaves and she uses waves and a line through it. Kind of similar to this one, but this one's kind of like a backwards S. So yeah. Anyway, I just got to think of a pose. Why don't we have Dutchie eating a ginormous cookie? Sounds good? Yeah. All right, let's sketch a little bit. I'm just gonna do this little circle here. And then I'm gonna add some little crosshairs because, you know, I kinda like to do that to mark where the face is supposed to go. And then uh, the body's gonna be like this. And the cookie's gonna be like this. I'm just gonna make the sketch a little bit more faint. Oh, never mind, we're good. Okay, so let's start with the head. So the head's gonna be like a, uh, kind of like a bun or like a circle right here. Maybe like a burger, I'd say. And then here you just go, goop. That's gonna be the cheek. So you just trace all around and until it makes like the bottom of the, actually kind of looks like a, the top of an ice cream cone. But anyway, that's the head. Sorry. Now we're just gonna mark the nose, which is basically just an upside semicircle here. That's gonna go in the middle of where the crosshairs are. So like that. Then the mouth is gonna be the typical three. Like upside down three, so like that. And we'll make Dutchie look super happy, so open its mouth a little more. Yeah, we'll go with that. And now for the eyes. The eyes are gonna be like caves. They're just gonna go around like this. Now, if you know Kitty Rosie, she'll do the uh, triangular eyelashes for girls that basically go out like that. But because we're doing a male OC, I'm not gonna bother with that. Or do I want to? Nah. Aww. Okay, now we're gonna do the ear. So the ear is gonna be like around the corner of the eye here. You're basically gonna make like an upside down strawberry. I don't know. Where basically one of the two lines of each side is gonna be bigger than the other one. So for example, I'm drawing the like bigger line here. They're gonna curve in a little at the corners like that. And then a big line here to show the ear. And next up is ear flower. <laughs> Okay, so next up's the uh, neck. So we're just gonna draw down from the middle of the bottom crosshair like this. Basically make like a tree shape here. We're not gonna go all the way because there's gonna be a giant cookie here. But anyway, for the hips and the feet or hooves, they're gonna uh, make a big football kind of thing here. That's about almost the whole size of the entire body. So yeah, like a chestnut or a football 
whatever here. Then for the hoof, it's going to be kind of the same thing, but with a more flat line on the bottom here. So we'll just go from here and then just go around. And we're going to make a sharp turn here and then go back around with a little flat line like this. Something like that. Okay. Ah. You know what I forgot? Since we're drawing a unicorn, we're going to do a little horn here. Make it a little pointy. Make it come down like that. I guess we'll do the mane while we're at it. For the mane, we're going to use like the leaf shapes and the wave shapes for the mane. I guess we'll go from here and then just make a semicircle with a line through it. Like that. Should be good. Then we're going to go from the top here and make a leaf. So basically, just a nice little leaf like that. Then we're going to make a big wave. Hang on, let me move these out of the way. I did start recording, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, we're going to make a wave here. We're going to start from there and just trace all around. Basically like an S, another line through there. And make a another wave, I'd say. And back here. Uh, Don't! Let's go with that. Anyway, for the other part, I... I'd say we uh, make another wave here. But this time, we're not going to make the small line. We're just going to go curve and then a... Another curve here, then make a really big wave, make a really big backwards S until it joins back there again. So I guess let's do the cookie now. So how about we just put some like M&Ms here, or maybe sprinkles too, because everyone likes sprinkles on their cookies, apart from everyone else and me. <laughs> anyway, the cookie's just going to be a flat circle. Simple as that. And then for the hooves, I guess we best do the back hooves now because that just looks like he's been squashed face up by a massive Krabby Patty. So anyway, I'll do the back hook first. So I'll just quickly sketch the uh, back hip. It, it doesn't have to be good, just, just a little indicator for the right hook. Anyway, we'll just, do, we'll just do basically the same that we did here. So curvy line across here, then down again, then horizontal line back to there. Now for the, now for the front hooks, his left hook or our right is gonna be just a little circle, kind of like so. It's gonna have a kind of a cut there. It's gonna look kind of like the ice cream that we did for the head, but with no like little cheek. And then for the other one, I think I might get creative with this one. I think I'm gonna go triangular here, then have kind of like a longer hoof here. So kind of like that. I'm just doing that to sketch it a little. So I'll go a little triangular here, and then rectangular. Something like that. And uh, up, oh, you know what? We've got to do the eyes and the pupils, haha. <laughs> so uh, obvious, obviously, since this is a uh, rose of flame drawing, we gotta make the pupils really big to make it look cute, like touchy. So uh, yeah, basically. So what we're gonna do is go all the way out here and make a really big curve so that it only takes up most of the space in here and do the same on the other side. And then we're gonna make the pupil because we just did the iris. And then, for the most important part of a Kitty Rosie eye drawing, got to make the eye glimmer half the size of the eye itself by putting it up in the corner here, and do the same on the other side. And then... One more eye glimmer. Gonna put a little heart here, and put a little heart here. And with that, guys, I guess we can safely say we drew the Dutch Pony eating a giant M&M cookie in the style of Kitty Rosie. There, that's where you can see if it's not tilted at uh, some awkward 45 degree whatever. Basically, that is what it's going to look like. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Of course, I could just go over this with texter, but I don't have textures. <laughs> I think I'll just erase the excess quickly. <laughs> there, I think that looks better. So there we go. Check out Kitty Rosie's Twitter. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check out her art. She does it so much better than this. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, see ya.